A push to add at large seats to the Fayetteville City Council was voted down. Supporters say it would have given residents more choice on who represents them. Those against the proposal say it was an attempt to dilute black voting strength in the city. WRL's Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bay spoke with those on both sides of the issue. Well, the Fayetteville City Council is comprised of nine individual districts. The mayor is the only one who runs at large. Now, on the ballot yesterday, an opportunity to add some more at large seats, but the voters said no. The campaign to change Fayetteville's city charter has been heated. The Vote Yes advocacy group gathered the needed 5,000 signatures to get the measure on the ballot, but the city council voted against it. The advocacy group took the matter to court and won. Last night, the measure failed. Fayetteville Mayor Mitch Colvin says the majority of the nine members of the city council are persons of color. He viewed the referendum as an attempt to dilute the minority vote in the city. Citizens spoke loud and clear. It was a, it was a resounding uh, victory to vote against this, uh, this power grab. And so I'm looking forward to, to moving on and getting to the business of the city. The city council is currently made up of nine members elected from single districts. The mayor is the only member who runs at large. The vote yes referendum would have five single districts and add four at large seats with the mayor still running at large. We Former Fayetteville mayor we Nat Robertson was one of the supporters for change and was surprised that the measure fell short by 6,000 votes. I think the more people that you can vote for and the more people that are accountable to you, the more responsive the government is to you. The scope is you can vote for six people instead of just voting for two. While the vote yes referendum failed, voters did pass three separate bond issues worth $97 million. The money will build a new 911 center and two fire stations. It will improve roads and transportation and take aim at making housing available and affordable. Here we're blessed that up the two fire stations we're looking at as well as 911, we actually have some idea of where those are going to go. And so we're very, very, very comfortable that we're going to be able to accelerate and get these projects out on the street. So with those bond issues passed, it will now be up to the nine individual city council members and the mayor to move forward with those projects. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bay's WREL News.